Let's look at one more probability problem. So now we're going to switch to um, rolling a pair of dice. So we're going to roll a pair of dice. And so these are standard dice that have the numbers 1 through 6 on them. And so maybe one possible outcome you could get is the dice come out 2 and 4. Now we don't want to draw the picture of dice every time, so we're going to use something called compact notation for this. And so I'm just going to write this, this outcome as 2, 4. And so what this represents is the first number, that's the first uh, outcome I got from the first die right here. And then this 4 was what came out on my second die. And so we're going to roll a pair of die. And what I want us to do first is use compact notation to write the sample space S of the possible outcomes. So let's start writing out our sample space. I could get a 1 and a 1 on both of them. I could get a 1 and a 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, and 1, 6. And then I could get a 2 on the first die, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. Then I could get a 3 and a 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6. I could get a 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, and 4, 6. I could get a 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6. And then I could also get a 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, and 6, 6. And I forgot to mention that these dice, we're going to assume that they are distinctive. So maybe one is colored red and one is colored white. So how many elements are in this sample space? If you count them up, the number of elements in the sample space is 36. All right, and now what I want us to do, now that we know the sample space, let's use set notation to write the event E that the numbers showing face up have a sum of six. And then I want you to find the probability of E. So let's start by finding this set E. How could I possibly, I rolled these dice and how could I get a sum of six? Well, the first one could come up one five. One and then the second one come up five. The first one could come up two and the second one could come up four. They could both come up three. The first one could be a four and then a second one a two. And then first one five and a one. Those are all the ways that you could get a sum of six showing on your pair of dice. So now that we have E, we can find the probability of E using our probability formula. The number of elements in E over the number of elements in our sample space 
there are five, if you count them, five elements in our set E. Our sample space had 36 elements in it. And so this would be our probability right here. 